Hey, hello, and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herbuda, and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video. But before we start, can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can also follow me on TikTok. Hey guys, so today we are dyeing my hair blonde. We are getting rid of this blue. Okay, it has been blue for a while. Like I swear, I probably have like three inches worth of roots. Okay. I'm using volume 30 developer and I'm using 20 volume developer. Quick blue from Sally's Beauty Supply, one package, and another package from Shoppers Drug Mart. So we are gonna mix this and do two tries, because I know one try of bleach, I mean, it could do it, it could not do it, we will see. I'm gonna start with the quick blue first, and um, I know my hair is gonna go bright yellow. Instead of using Wella T18, I decided to give out a try with uh, L'Oreal um, Purple Shampoo that just came out. I've heard such good reviews about it. Make sure you have some coconut oil. I really think that coconut oil does help. For one, it helps moisturize your hair. And for two, when you have bleach on your hair, I feel like it's a slower process of it bleaching your hair. You know when you're like bleaching your hair and you have to go section by section? Sometimes when I do section by section, like you get over to this side after you've done this side and you're thinking, well, this side is gonna fry by the time that I get over to this side. So that's why I add coconut oil because I mean, it just kind of like, I feel like develops slowly all together. <laughs> Quick blue, coconut oil, and you wanna go to blonde. <sighs> What to say about quick blue? I said enough about quick blue. Everybody knows what quick what I think about quick blue, so I will not talk about that anymore. But this coconut oil, yes, she knows that if you put coconut oil on your hair, it will slow the bleaching down. It will not just slow the bleaching down. The bleaching cannot do his work because the greasiness of the coconut oil is blocking the bleach. And if you do that, because you start on one side and you end on this side, yes, it's already 30 minutes on this side. This is true. This is actually true. But start in the back, work up. If you are at the top, you set a timer, then you do the front. And then first of all, you rinse the back off and then the front or the opposite. I don't care, uh, but work with different timers, maybe three, three timers. That's also possible. We do that with highlights in the salon. We set timers. If they have a lot of hair, we set three timers. So to have an even result. But do not put coconut oil on your lengths if you have to remove or to bleach your hair on the lengths. She has to remove a blue purple tone. It's really, 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 really difficult to get them out. And if you put coconut oil on your hair, it will be more difficult to get them out. You can put coconut oil afterwards if you are thinking this is the holy grail uh, to restore your, uh, your broken hair. It's not. But not just before you bleach your hair. Do not do that. If you don't want to damage your hair, don't change your color. If you want to constantly change your color, then you will hurt your hair, you will damage your hair. This is the only way. If you want to remove these pigments, you have to bleach, and you have to bleach it all the way. Make sure you really just get the ends of your hair, because that's where your hair usually breaks. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. If I look how you apply it, I'm scared too. Now, I know that like manic panic, oh my God, it's burning. It's br oh, guys. <laughs> what do you think? 
if you apply it like that, roots, lengths, apply it like a shampoo, it will hurt your scalp as hell. First of all, do the lengths. Do the lengths, take fine sections, you know me, take fine sections, do the lengths, bleach the lengths. If the lengths are okay, then apply on the roots. It's a mess. There's also a good chance that like, when you do this method, you don't always get, oh, what? It's turning pink, why? Watch why your eyes. Pink? Why is my hair turning pink? This has never happened to me before. My nose is running because it's so strong. My hair is literally changing colors by the second. What does the back look like? Oh no, my hair is feeling awfully heavy at the bottom. <laughs> what do you think? I'm not gonna put any coconut oil in my hair this time um, because I just wanted to saturate more into the hair and penetrate it. So, just mixing up some more. Don't be mad. <sighs> no wonder my hair is falling off. Why apply it like that? This calls for a deep mask after. Deep, deep, deep. What do you think? What do you think that will happen? You apply it on regrowth that has never been colored before you apply it on blue lengths mid lengths that are strongly with a lot of pigments and ends that are already faded and really 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 dry what do you expect if you apply it on one whole pack that it will be come out even why why do you think that shampoo method See, if you do the shampoo method, like look, it all just comes out. Shampoo method. So this is the result of me dyeing my hair. It's pink. She's lucky. It's, it's, I think it's a nice pink. But the regrowth? Um, my roots are still yellow. Um, I think if I just used a bit of purple shampoo, um, I'd get it to the frosty whitish, kind of silverish. No, it's not possible with the purple shampoo to lift up the yellow pigments. A purple shampoo will just neutralize slightly yellow pigments. But if you are bleaching your hair and it's orange or bright yellow, a purple shampoo will not lift the rest of the yellow pigments. It's not possible to lift up one or two tones with the purple shampoo. Some people are not getting. Okay, what are yellow pigments in your hair? It's, so your hair is built up with all kinds of pigments. All the primary colors, pigments are in your hair. Bleaching your hair is melting down the pigments. So you disappear them, so you melt them down. The more of these pigments are melted, the more white it is. Like level 12, just white hair, or maybe 13, that's just hair with no pigments inside. None. So if it's yellow or orange, it means there are a lot of pigments in your hair. A shampoo has not the power to melt down these last pigments. 
he can just change them in less yellow. They can neutralize them, but the yellow pigments are still inside. If you want to go to white, you have to melt down. Bleach peroxide is the only thing that can eliminate your yellow pigments. A purple shampoo can just neutralize, not removing the yellow pigments. This is a big misunderstanding. Um, but I like the color. I'm probably gonna keep it for a month and then when I re-dye my hair, that's when it, I'm hoping, I'm hoping one more dye and my hair will go white or lighter than, than pink. But why not re-bleach your roots so they are white? Don't touch your lengths, don't apply it like you did before, just do your regrowth, go to white and then put some pastel pink because it suits you very well. I think it's more softer for your skin than the first color. Have you learned from this video? Have you had fun with this video? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao kus.